The odd looking truck is the Department of Transportation's answer to heavy snow days. They say the vehicle can clear twice as much snow as their traditional equipment. Reporter Ryan Grimes has the scoop on what they are calling the tow plow. Tow plow. It's a steerable trailer with a mounted plow that is pulled behind a regular snow plow truck. It's an innovation that DOT Operations Superintendent Daniel Shocker says is one of a kind. Really, this is a new invention. It's something very new to Alaska. It's only being tried out in 22 other states, but it's going to be mainly on the Johansson Expressway, Steese Expressway, Richardson Highway, um, Mitchell Expressway, Parks Highway areas. The trailer allows the operator to swing a secondary plow to one side, effectively doubling the plow width of a normal snowplow truck. It's actually designed to go out to the right. The operator can decide how far he deploys it out, so he can just go a few feet or he can go all the way out to where we're clearing two full lanes. This is the only tow plow in Fairbanks. It's currently in its testing phase to see if it's up to snuff. Well, the operator has a lot of things going on with running the tow plow. On this joystick and the belly blade, which is the underbody scraper that we have right here in this control, he has the controls for the tow plow right here. We do have a panic button. Things go wrong. We, he pushes that button. That tow plow picks up and comes back to dead in line behind the truck. So it is a safety item. DOT officials say that the truck's ability to plow more snow will make the streets safer for Fairbanks at a more efficient rate during snow days though they ask drivers to keep a good distance from the trailer while it's on the road. The sign on the back says keep back 200 feet. That would be my suggestion. It'll be easier. We'll have one operator able to cover twice as much lane miles. And so we're hoping that both of those savings, you know, pan out into something that we can continue to use and maybe even expand on. That's really our hope. This is Ryan Grimes reporting.